Hey guys, Lacey here, and today is another episode of Pretty Prepper. You know why? Yes, I'm pretty and a prepper. So today, um, I was going to give you guys a little hint on food salvage. So um, as you know, Hurricane Ian is barreling its way through Florida and it's going to go right over us since we live in Central Florida. So, with that being said, I was going to show you guys a little trick that I learned a long time ago living in Texas, because I'm from Texas, and many a hurricane comes through there, and little known fact, there's more hurricanes, more hurricanes hit Texas than they do Florida. Bet you didn't know that. It's true. This is our first hurricane of the season. Crazy, right? So, Anyway, with that being said, Mr. Lacey's outside running around like a chicken with his head cut off, putting stuff here and moving stuff there and making sure all the projectiles are out of the way. And so I am going to show you guys when to throw your food out of the freezer. So there's two ways you can do it, and there's probably many other ways you can do it, but these are like two different ways that we do it. You take a bottle of water, okay, a bottle of water, and Mr. Lacey out of a little you know, fruit juice to this one, just so you can see the colorization in it. Take a bottle of water and you half a bottle, freeze it, okay? Then you take it and you lay it on its side. Once this water has all defrosted in your freezer, if you lose power and you're out for like a couple days and just try to keep everything as closed as long as possible, take this, put it on its side the minute you lose power. As soon as all this water defrosts, and it becomes regular, just even cold liquid, your food's gone. Pitch it, it's done. It's hot enough, it's not any good, don't eat it, you will get sick, okay? The other way you can do it is again, take a half a bottle of water, turn it upside down in your freezer like this, and freeze it, you know, like this, where the, the water is at the cap. And you take and you put it back in your freezer like this, again, when all of this water has completely defrosted and it's just a cold bottle of water that you pull out of your refrigerator and drink, it's time to pitch your food, unfortunately. I've had that happen many a time. It sucks. The thing is, if you know it's coming, kind of like we knew it was coming, um, you can eat everything that you know that's going to be perishable and just kind of put it down to stuff that you don't have to cook, you don't have to refrigerate, and then um, you don't have to worry about losing that much out of your freezer. Another smart thing to do too is take a bunch of bottles of water. First of all, you should have massive amounts of water already stored. Um, take a case of water, and if you can, freeze it. Dinner's ready. If you can, freeze it. Put it in your freezer and just let it sit there. That will help keep your frozen foods stay frozen longer, okay? You can also take half of those bottles and put them in your refrigerator and that will also help keep your food in your refrigerator stay colder longer. So, just an idea. So, that being said, I guess I better go help Mr. Lacer at least tell him dinner's ready so he can eat and then finish doing what he's got to do. And then, and then we can sit down and watch the storm roll in. I've already started, of course, shrinking. Um, normally, I just sleep through these things and I let him worry about all the details. So... Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> um, anyway, you guys, have a good evening. Have a good night. Have a good weekend. Have a good whatever. Remember, like and subscribe. Hit that like button down at the bottom. If you liked it so much, if you thought it was good, tell your friends. And maybe, you know, give me some more subscribers. I need them. So, with that being said, you guys have a good weekend. Have a good whatever. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, we'll make it through this storm. And I will let you know. Bye.